Good morning, this is smartwatchspecifications.com, the premier site for smartwatch specs, news, and reviews. Okay, we are back. Okay, after some delays, we are back with the T4 Smart Band Aware, for, Aware Fit 2.0 Smart Bracelet. So, the first video, we showed you the menu and the design of the Sport Smart Band. Okay, so it is a direct USB charging. Okay, just remove the strap and you can charge your wearable right away. Okay, so this time we're going to install the support app for this wearable. So based on the user manual here, so it is using the WearFit 2.0 available in Android and iOS platform. So let's search in our smartphone. Okay, this is the Android plat platform. Let's search for the WearFit 2.0 and let's bind this smart band or the smart bracelet to the support app. Okay, so just open your Google Play. Again, this is a step-by-step -step process on how to install the support app. So WearFit, okay. So let's search for the WearFit 2.0. So we already have here. Let's see if this is the one. WearFit 2.0. Okay. So let's check. So we have here the WearFit 2.0, WearFit Pro, WearFit. Wear Pro, so let's go for the Wear Fit 2.0 with 5 million plus downloads. Okay, from Wake Up, available in health and fitness category and 45 MB. So let's tap in it, on it and open and install and open the support app. So we have here the Wear Fit 2.0. Okay, so 5 million plus downloads. 47 MB. Let's check out the details here. WearFit 2.0 can monitor users' health and data. So we have some mixed review here. Okay. More on the positive, but we have a one star rating here. So seems like that is not a good sign. But anyway, let's try and check. So there are some good signs here, or the, some good reviews. And there are some not good reviews, latest reviews. Okay, so let's start and install. Now we are downloading, so let's wait. Again, it is 47.47 MB. Okay, so we have a slow internet connection today. So just bear for the slow download. So again, let's check here. Where, where fit point 2.0 can monitor users health and data mental health heart rate blood pressure okay so there are a lot of features here over 5 million downloads okay so while we are waiting let's check first is it available here also in the support app the qr code so let's check SMS. Let's go to the settings. Seems like we don't have the QR code here available in the smart band. Stopwatch, SMS, find. Okay, seems like it's not. Let's check here. Do we have the menus? Oh no, so there's no QR code that you can scan here in the smart band so don't lose your user manual or if i were you just remember the support app for the smart band okay so we don't have the qr code here so i advise you to please protect or keep your user manual okay don't lose it okay so we are almost done here 99 percent Okay, we are done with the installation now of the WearFit 2.0. So let's open the support app. Tap on open. 
Okay, so here it is asking for agreement for the privacy policy. Just agree. Let's wait if you can skip on signing up. Okay, and go directly to the support app. So here we have some options. You can register third party login or enter directly. Okay. So let's enter directly and check whether we can connect our wearable right away to the support app. Enter directly. Okay, and now we are on the profile here. Okay, so let's just tap on next. You can edit or set it later. And personal goal, save. Okay, so we have here some permissions. Okay, open permissions. In order to provide you with accurate data without affecting the use of app, please enable the following mobile phone permissions. Okay, turn on. Let's check. Enable self-starting, background power consumption. Okay, so let's say we have turned it on. Okay, so there are some instructions okay so you can let's check if we can connect our wearable without turning those those permissions first okay so here on the bottom part with a we have home discovery and your profile here so where's the location where we can add the device here okay let's check discovery no me settings daily goals there it's okay so we have an ad here uh, this is annoying okay so here you go to the discovery tap on the management and we have here the device here i think so let's add our device here maybe this part No. Connection management. Okay, so here again the steps go to discovery here, management and connection management. Okay. So the app is not connected to your band. Okay, so let's tap on connect band. So, it is asking for the permission for GPS. We already activated it. Okay, let's check. Okay. So, again. Allow where fit 2.0 to access this device location. Allow where fit 2.0 to make and manage phone calls. And Verfit 2.0 wants to turn on Bluetooth. Turning on Bluetooth. Let's see. So we have the band now. So we have here the T4. Let's check for the MAC address here. We have the same address. Find. Okay, DB forty two six A E four. Okay, so tap on it and let's see. Okay, let's wait. So allow Verify two point zero to take pictures and vid record video. This is for the photo and I think music something options or feature. Just allow it. Allow Verfit 2.0 to access photos and media files on your device. Just allow it first. Allow Verfit 2.0 to access your contacts, access your call logs, and view SMS, SMS messages. Okay, we we'll just allow it. So we are now connected. Are we connected? Let's see. Okay. Let's check. Although here it says we are connected, let's try find bracelet okay so we can feel some vibration here again 
Okay, so we are connected. So let's turn the turn on the smart reminder for SMS. Okay, call. Okay, SMS and last reminder. App notifications. So here we have some permissions. Just allow your feet to open your access to access notifications. Okay, so let's activate it. Okay. Okay, we are done. So that's it. So these are the supported apps. WeChat, QQ, Weibo, Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp, Line, KakaoTalk, and Snapchat. Okay. So we have here the health options, blood oxygen, fatigue, blood pressure, heart rate, and sleep monitoring. Okay. Okay, so that's it. We are connected or oh, we paired the t4 smart band with a wear fit 2.0 support app okay if you have other wearables that is using the wear fit 2.0 it is just the same process okay so if you have any questions regarding this in the installation of the wear fit 2.0 to the support app or to the smart band or smartwatch please drop a comment below and we will try to answer your queries bye